<sighs> it's opening day here yet again. And we're ready for season number two with the Los Angeles Angels franchise. We have here on MLB The Show 23. We're going to be off to a big start. It is going to be Shohei Otani versus Christian Javier. We're taking on the Astros here, and we are excited to get year number two underway. We're not going to be here too long. I'm just going to give you guys a quick little rundown of the lineup. Taylor Ward will lead us off, followed by Mike Trout. It's going to be pretty similar. Shohei Otani is batting third. New addition, Rafael Devers is going to be taking over third base. He'll back clean up for us. You guys didn't see in the last video, we did end up making the trade for Rafael Devers. Ran a pole, and Devers ended up winning it out. In half will bat fifth forwards. Brandon Drury will be at first. Logan O'Hoppy at catcher. LeVon Soto and Zach Neto will round out second base and shortstop for us. Now the bench will have Jerry Walsh, Joe Adele, Justin Foscu, David Fletcher, our utility specialist, and Max Stassi will back up O'Hoppy. So we got some good things working for us. Hopefully, you know, everything works out well. Now we'll take a look at the pitching rotation. Shohei Otani, our ace, followed by Aaron Nola, Tyler Anderson, Patrick Sandoval, and Reed Detmers will round us out. Hopefully, you know, some of these guys have kind of had a little bit of a rough spring. So hopefully... Things end up turning out a little bit better. For whatever reason, they got Jordan Hicks as our closer. So, yeah, we're going to fix a little bit of this stuff here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get things rolling. And, yeah, hopefully, you know, it all works out for us. But let's hop into this game versus the Houston Astros. Game number one is opening day, baby. Let's get to it. Catch you guys inside. Let's roll. Ooh, I'm devoted and hated. I recorded the Matrix. I just loaded the bases. And you know I'm going to make it. Yeah. And as this one gets going and loaded up, you guys, I want to say thank you all very much for the support you guys have shown this series so far. The channel has grown pretty well here from season one on to now. And, and I'm excited to continue the growth here as we get ready for season number two. Hopefully, you know, we get a little bit further. We got knocked out of the uh, ALCS by now the defending Blue Jays. And we're hopefully, you know, we can push a little bit further, but... We got projections here. Trout is projected for 42 home runs and 99 RBIs. I believe last year he was projected like 40 home runs as well and like maybe 80 RBIs. It was something like it was a little lower than what I thought. But 7.2 war they expect me expecting Devers to lead us in average. You know, Shohei batted over 300, so maybe they're going to be pushing each other for that. But I'm excited. Let's get into it. Game number one. See if we can take over the Astros, man. Let's get this home win. Shohei on the mound. Yeah, it was a great time last time opening day. We had like 13 strikeouts, something like that. It was something ridiculous. But, yeah, let's get it, Shohei. You're on the bump. Let's go get this dub, baby. And Shohei stats from last year. He started off strong, but, boy, he kind of kind of tailored down a little bit near towards the end. Ended up 13 and 10 with a 3.49 ERA. Had a very good whip and a very good strikeout to walk ratio. And he'll face off against Jose Altuve, who batted 253 last year with 29 home runs. See how this first game goes. As first pitch of... Season number two four is underway, the 2024 season, and it is in there for strike number one. The 1-1 one, one here to Altuve will be lifted into right field, and Ian Happ, the new member, will have the very first out of 2024 fours, and it'll be Altuve flying out. And that one smoked, and the first base hit belongs to the Houston Astros as Grissom takes that fastball into left field. And Alvarez launches one into left center field. Back goes Taylor Ward. Near the track out there, he'll have it for out number two. And that was a long way to go for Ward. And here's Christian Javier. He was 12 and 11 last year. 3.78 ERA. 201 strikeouts to 86 volts. He did his thing last year. Let's see if we can get to their ace. Ward seems to slide on the curve in circle change. The first pitch to Taylor Ward. It's going to be an awful, awful decision for us to swing at that slider going away. And Taylor Ward will see three straight sliders, and he strikes out early versus Christian Javier. Not how he wanted to start the season. Three pitches, and he goes down. Here's Mike Trout. And Trout out in front on the knuckle curve. Boy, if we could have waited back a little bit, that one could have went a long way. And it'll be a full count pitch here to Trout with one out, making Javier work. And he will go down that slider. Boy, it is slow and it is dancing. Out number two of the day, his second strikeout. A oh, one one of Abreu is smoked into right field. Ian Happ has it. And oh my goodness, the jury just had a foot on the bag. We throw out Abreu. Otani looking to strike out Chaz McCormick. 
And to end their half of the second, he's going to get him. See you later. The curve by out of the zone, and McCormick goes down. Otani continues to look pretty sharp here on opening day. We'll see what Devers can do. Is We'll see two new angels taking their first plate appearance. And here's Rafael Devers. See what he can do in his Angels debut. And, oh, it's going to be a weak chopper to Altuve. He has plenty of time to get Devers out at first. Fastball was in a good location. We just couldn't get down there quick enough. We got we to gotta avoid those one-pitch outs. We got to make sure this dude works as we... We're right there on that one, man. But, I mean, damn, man. Just right at the shortstop. And down goes Ian Hemp. Five guys up, five guys down. And that'll bring up Brandon Drury. Good timing. I mean, man, <laughs> we couldn't really do anything else with that one. And Brandon Drury's on milestone watch. That's 99 home runs. Looking for one, number 100 this season. Which, I imagine he's... Definitely going to get there. Don't know if he'll get it here on opening day or not, but we'll see. Another full count here to Drury. And he'll send one into left field, and that one's going to be dove out there by Jordan Alvarez making the play. And that'll rub Drury in our team with the first base hit of the season. And we'll have to wait another inning for that one. And Corey Lee comes to lead them off in the top of the third before their lineup turns back around. He'll weakly ground this one. Why is that popping up? Like, dude. I mean, like, dude, I, why, why, would, why, why would that pop up? Like, seriously, why the hell would that pop up? We've been playing with a meter for months. <laughs> We've playing with that meter for games now. I'm, I'm going to say months. It, the game ain't been out that many long. But, like, what the hell was that about? That, that basically gave him a free base runner. That is bull****. If that leads to something, dude, I'm going to be pissed the hell off. It is doing it again. And we don't even get a put. Bro, what is this game doing? Why are you popping up all of a sudden? We have not asked for any type of help. And this game is just cheating the hell out of us. No, we ain't dealing with this mess, dude. We're not. Have no clue what in the world is going Oh, we've had grounders in this game already before, and it did not pull that mess. Oh, now we're going second time through the lineup, and you're trying to give us that BS? Get the F out of here. One, two from Otani. Looking for the strikeout. Got him. See you later. Damn game. Trying to cheat. Come on. We'll take the double play ball if we can get it. We'll also take the strikeout. The O2 to Alvarez. He's out in front. See you later. Curveball had him. Down he goes. Back to back catch from Otani. He's trying to get out of here after the game decided to cheat us over. See if we can get him. We're going to pop it up. Let's go. Neto is going to be in shallow center. Just off the dirt. And that will do it. After the game, tried to cheat us over, man. They really tried to cheat us over. I can't believe that mess. We ain't had that meter thing pop up anything. I don't even think it did that when we first played. Neto's on deck for his first plate appearance, and it's a 3-0 to Soto. He's going to miss inside, and that will be our first base runner. He misses four straight times to LeVon Soto. And it's a 2-2 now here to Zach Neto as we swung terribly at that knuckle curve. And it will be grounded weekly 5 4 3. They're going to get their double play ball. Otani, the strike out the side. The 2 2 pitch to Jeremy Pena. He's going down. See you later. Otani pitching beautifully. Five strikeouts in the last two innings. And he is absolutely dealing. Pitch number eight coming to Taylor Ward. He'll miss inside. That will be a leadoff walk with Mike Trout coming up to bat. Then the fourth inning will be something where we finally get something going. Javier is a little erratic. Oh, Trout gets a hanging slider, but we're out in front. Oh, come on. That is twice now in this game. We've had some when we're just out in front with Trout. And Trout doesn't miss it that time, though. That slider, we tee it up. And it's a two-run home run. Trout gets us started this year. So, oh, it's not a solo shot. First of the year, 411 feet. Trout does what he does best, and that's be the GOAT. He does what he does best, and that's be the GOAT. Christian Javier, we are on top of you now. And we are dealing with Otani on the mound. Otani's coming up to the plate. Let's go, big dog. Let's go. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. One too many times. That's the third time he hung something versus Trout. Third time's the charm, as they always say. And we'll take it. And another one, too. He's going down. See you later. The outside edge corner. Maybe you want to call it, has been kind to us. Got a couple strikeouts right there, and that is number seven on the day for Otani. 
He'll see if he can keep that up against the next big power bat and Kyle Tucker. The other one. That was smoked. Happens. Should be able to get to that one in time. And he will. And for another one, two, three inning, shutout continues as the Houston Astros have been neutralized. And as we thought, Javier's day is done. They'll bring in Rafael Montero. 73 last year, 48, 41 appearances, 69 strikeouts to 28 walks, 1.23 whip, and he already have a 3.39. See what we can do, Verso. And Neto will hit that one to left field. Is it going to have the distance it will? And Zach Neto has a lead off home run, extends his lead to three. Let's go, Neto. Shout out to you. Bring the young boy up, comes in right away, and he's going to get a home run here on opening day. You'll love to see it. Neto is here, and hopefully he has many more. He doesn't have the biggest power. He only has like a power of a 40 versus righties. I'm not sure what it is versus lefties. I don't think it's much higher than that, but he's more of a contact guy. But what a good job by Neto to extend this lead. That one just gets over that wall out there, too. And old Trout's getting hit on the rear. And that'll be a one out hit batter. And that'll bring up Shohei now. And Otani sends one out to center field. But that one, boy, Otani, he's just missing these, it feels like, man. He's getting some good bat placement on it. But the ball's just not carrying for him. Good timing on that one, too, and just right at the center fielder. And that one on a hit and run is going to be hit into right field. That one's going to end up dropping, and it's easily going to be, oh, boy, we might be screwed if Devers doesn't get down in time. He does, and it's going to score Trout easily. Let's go. It's an RBI double for Rafael Devers, his first base hit as an angel. And it'll be a big one as it extends our lead to four now. As Devers, boy, if he just, he almost, that one almost got up out of here. He didn't have to get too far. He just got hit off that top portion of the wall, and it would have been a home run. Thankfully, Devers gets in there because I was afraid, to, oh, Trout might not be able to score if they tag out Devers. But anyway, that's going to bring up Ian Happ, who's 0 for 2 on the day. And I'm surprised they're leaving Montero out here. And oh, Ian Happ drives one. Right field. Get back there. Get back there. And oh, it's not. Cannot stretch enough for Happ. It looks like our two newcomers are going to have back to back extra base hits and potential home run for Happ, but it will not. And it's a 4 0 lead going to the 7. Breckman or Bray and Pena do up versus Otani. The other one to Breckman. And that one's grounded. Neto showing the range over there. Backhands it. There you go, learning from spring. Where you remember in spring, you guys, man, he, he tried back in it, ended up having an error. But look at that, he's showing some good range over there too. Love to see it. And it's a one-two now to Abreu. Can we get a strikeout here? He's gonna go. See you later. Another strikeout for Otani, number eight on the day, I believe. And we'll take it. Otani for seven shutout innings. The one-two. He's chasing. See you later. Another one for Otani. <laughs> on real performance here on opening day yet again. That's back-to-back -back season where he is just dominating opening day. And this is versus a much better team. It's in that it's in that Oakland A's team we face. Let's go. The O2 to Drury here. And Drury will send one high out there to left field. Back goes Jordan Alvarez. Jogging to the track. To the wall. Leaps high. And he's not coming back. Home run number 100 for Brandon Drury. Let's Go! He got his first here on opening day as well. Let's get it, baby. Glad we were able to get the uh, milestone for him because I've been able to see him to get that. You know, that would kind of suck. So I'm glad we were able to get it. Let's go, Brandon Drury. It's another home run. Extending this lead. We're dominating opening day versus the Astros. Honestly, did not even think that one was going to get out. I really just kind of jawed his way there. I'm thinking, oh, he's going to get this easy. But I guess he was just trying to find a way to time his jump. And it didn't work. We get the home run. And that'll bring up old Hobby, 0 for 2. And Soto's going to get his first base hit of the season. Rips one in the right field. Well, we've seen him do that so often last season. He just rips one over there in the right field. And that will be a one-out single. And that'll bring up Zach Neto, who's one for two on the day, with a solo shot home run. And he will find a hole over. Oh, well, that ball doesn't get through, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be an infield single for Neto. And right now we have something brewing here in the bottom of the seventh. Can we add on even more after the Drury home run? And it'll be a full count. Runners will be on the move here with two outs. Trout, what is he going to get? He's going to get a three-run home run is what he's going to get. He's also going to get his second home run of the day. That's what he's going to do because he's the GOAT. Ain't nothing ball game, man. Get these Astros up out of here, man. Get them up out. Number two. Number two for Trout. Let's go, baby. That's why he's the big dog. 
You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say winner. It is the Trout and Otani show, baby, here in Anaheim. And that's a show we love to see, and we're going to love to keep living in it. Once again, Trout, Otani, Devers, they're going to be the key guys for us if we want to get to this World Series run. And right now, we're off to a great start. Absolutely destroying the Astros here at home on opening day. Endeavors smokes one. Center field. Back goes the center field. Does Devers have one? He does. It's a big two-run home run. Rafael Devers. It's a 10-0 ball game, boys. Let's go. Devers making his debut strong just like he did in spring training where he had that two-run bomb. He's got one now where it actually counts. That's 10-0. We're laughing on the sidelines in the bullpen, baby. Let's go. Otani comes home. Devers in happens up to bat. This team looks like it might be unstoppable this year. I don't know. You know we got we get these games though sometimes where we just absolutely unload. And then we get some games where it's like nail bite all the way through. Oh, we just can't hit at all. But let's go. Devers, big bomb. And here's Ian Happ. He is 0 for 3 on the day. He's going to see if he can change his fortunes. And he will! Back to back, Jacks! A hanging circle change is bombed out there to right field. It's 11 0. Happ first home run of the season. And my goodness, this bullpen for the Astros, boy, they might be in trouble. <laughs> they really might be in trouble. We are loving it in the bullpen, baby. Let's go. Absolutely torching the Astros. It is a nightmare for them right now. A straight up nightmare. Back to back like I'm Jordan 96, 97. Whoa. And Soto, left center field. He's going to have a lead off double as it one hops over the wall for the ground rule double here in the bottom of the eighth. Look at Soto. Soto can play, boy. He got a low overall. His, his ratings ain't the greatest either. But the boy can play. He can absolutely play. And he's showing it every single time we play with him, too. Let us see it, Soto. And Taylor Ward, deep. Center field, back goes the center fielder to the track, to the wall, leaps high, and it is gone. He can't bring it back. It's a two-run home run. It's an absolute home run derby here in Anaheim. And there's only one team playing in the home run derby, and it's us. 13-0 is literally a football game out here for us. We're literally playing football. That's two touchdowns. And I missed extra points. <laughs> Let's go. That's that just flat-out go. And to complete the shutout, Jimmy Herget, can he get it? The one-two pitch to Bregman is going to be grounded. Drury has it. He'll run over the first to tap it, and that is a shutout and a 13-0 win here as Mark Pryor gets win number one of his managerial career. And it's an amazing way to start. Shutout victory over your division rival. Was projected to be the one, well, not the one seed, but projected to win our division at a 95 win clip. And we absolutely blow them out of the water 13 to 0. You love to see it. Great pitching from Otani. The bats were just electric once we got the fourth inning started. Javier, it just, it just spiraled for him. I don't know what happened. He just started getting so erratic. His stamina just must not be that good. He's not ready for opening day yet. No surprise, Trout player of the game. I think you could have gave it to him or Otani. Either one would have probably been acceptable. But Trout, two home runs. It's going to be hard not to give it to a guy who has two home runs. Otani, eight innings, nine strikeouts, no runs, only three hits given up. Yeah, that's how you do it, boys. That is how you do it. Getting a great opening day win. Looks like the Rangers also won. Mariners and Athletics also fall in their opening day game. So, yeah, man, boy, what a good one to start. Um, next time out, we're actually going to be hopping down into the minor leagues. And we're going to get a look at our first round pick, Damian Maloney versus the Tennessee Smokies. I'm excited to see what he can do and just kind of get a little look at him and see what he does out there. And yeah, we hope, you know, some of these guys we got down there in, in double and triple A, you know, they pan out and they start looking well for us. We'll do that a couple times this year. We're not going to do it. We're not going to overly do it because for the most part, the guys we drafted are down here. And then we got... We've got one we got one closer. We got a guy that's we're not maybe too worried about, but yeah, we're, we're gonna look at these guys though down there. But 
that is gonna do it for us here in this one you guys i want to say thank you all very much for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you guys hit that like button down there for me leave a comment give us some feedback how you know if we're doing this if you guys enjoy the way we are doing this style pretty much just like i said we've been doing the last you know few episodes of of actual gameplay you know just quick chop it up just kind of get to the point pretty much not trying to linger around too much but this one, I mean, yeah, this is definitely longer than what, <laughs> what we might be expecting because I was not expecting a 13-point explosion on opening day, but hey, we're never going to complain about it as we just absolutely dominate with Mike Trout and the rest of the boys. It's just constant home runs. I don't know how many we ended up hitting in that game. We just absolutely were electric, but... Yeah, that is going to do it for us once again. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this franchise. So the Angels are more, and we're also playing Diamond Dynasty. We're going to be streaming that a little bit more as well. Unfortunately, didn't get to stream it here over the weekend, but, you know, we're going to probably have a stream coming out here later this week. At some point this week as well, but we'll figure all those details out here soon. But I'm up to next time, everybody. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next one. God bless and peace. Close it out, future. And it's the love from my fans.